Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are looking at something for the absolute beginners. Uh, we've made a couple of videos on burial chambers so far, but as you guys know, that's a tier 5 map. Um, and I understand if you're completely new, you're looking at this, and you're thinking to yourself, okay, so I'm completely new, I can't do the tier 5 maps yet, how do I get into this? How do I get to gear my character? What's the best way for me as a fresh level 68, um, which is normally the level you finish the story at, to get into mapping, get into getting the currency together to build my character fully. And it's actually quite simple. So what you're going to do as soon as you hit level 68, so, well, rather as soon as you finish the story, finish Act 10, you're going to be here in Oriath, Oriath, however you say it. You walk up here, and as you go through this Templar laboratory here, you'll be able to get a map from this woman here, Zana, Master Cartographer. You're going to do that map, map. This will give you access to maps. So that's just very simple. Then you come to your hideout, you can place this map device through edit. You should have it once you finish the quests on the right here. What I recommend you do as soon as you get this done is either talk to a friend, talk to someone else, um, or just buy three glacier maps and you'll have three alchemy orbs. Trust me on this one, uh, you'll most definitely have a couple of chaos orbs just from leveling. Um, maybe you won't have enough, maybe you don't have your character build up at all, and I do recommend you first watch a video on how to gear your character. So what you would want is one, have decent damage for your level, um, that shouldn't be too difficult. Then number two should be get your um, your resistances in order, so you need to be res capped or very close to it. And number three, you would need to have three of these glacier maps. So for this, you only need that. If you do not know how to build the character, there's loads of videos on YouTube, but if they are not clear for you, just let me know and I'll make sure to make a video on how to gear your first character for under 20, maybe even 15 Chaos Orbs, okay? If you do have your character set up, but you do not want uh, to ask someone else or you don't have the money or anyone to ask the Glacier Maps, make sure to add me in-game um, or join into the Discord in the little box down below, join the stream and I'll be sure to give you a couple of glacier maps to get started. So what you're going to do is first you're going to use the alchemy orb on the glacier map, do that for all three, make sure there's no, res um, make sure that there is no reflect uh, on these maps, reflect elemental damage or reflect uh, physical damage because that will in most cases wreck you. Just activate the map and run the monolith. As you guys will be able to see, uh, I run this fairly quickly. And the only difference for you guys will be that you'll, you won't you will be able to run this as quickly as I can. But if you have a decent starter build, so if you have your rest caps and you have some decent damage, you should be able to do this. Maybe not as quickly as I can, but the effect on your currency should be the same. So, these maps you can buy for around, um, let's say, 1.6 chaos each. I think that's the normal price for them. As you can see, I already find a chaos orb here. Um, I won't even be picking up all these... Uh, all these items, you could do that when your brand spanking you. Um, all I'm doing is running the monolith, then opening this up and see if there's anything good in there. And I hope this this works out in my favor, um, because otherwise I'll look like a noob. But as you guys can see, you already have one rare item here. Need a map. So I'll get rid of that, because I don't have any use for it and then we run another one. So the point of this is, this is so quick as you guys can see, even if you're not as quick killing the monolith as I am, you'll still be able to do this fairly quickly and the monsters are only level 69. 
So you just run to the monolith, click it, you kill all the monsters around here, make sure to clear the entire thing, um, which you need the uh, semi semi decent damage for, because otherwise it just would need your resistances. Right, so here we go. Okay, so we find another map, we find some of the splinters, find some jeweler's orbs here. Titan Gauntlets, Alchemy Orb, open the chests. See here, another orb is going. An Abyssal Incubator. And an Amber Amulet. Okay, so that's not too shabby. Destiny Leather is always good. Another Chaos Orb. See, I'm doing this rather quickly. But you'll be able to do this as well. But you'll go a little bit slower. Now, as you can see, we've done two maps now. Let's leave it at that. Let's see here. We'll get rid of these items. We'll just get rid of them. So, if I calculate this by myself, we have 13 Jewelers Orbs. Jewelers Orbs go... Uh, okay, so the Jewelers Orbs are... 0 0.15 uh, Chaos. So, this is already... Uh, 1.6 chaos this is 3.6 chaos just these two items all these items over here are profit already because we've only ran two maps which at a average of 1.6 chaos each will cost us 3.2 chaos so all this is already profit and keep in mind this is not lucky we're not getting lucky here we're not finding any of the items that we actually need so I'll show you the sheet I've done. I've ran 100 of these maps and I'll show you the profit, okay? Right, so here's the sheet. I'll make sure to link this in the description for you guys as well. So you can open it up yourself. As you can see here, the maps, we did 100. We ran them for 1.6 scales each. We had to elk, of course. Uh, I got loads of blue ones I had to uh, use an orb of scouring on first. Um, that's not too important. I'll leave this in the description down below for you guys to watch but the point of this video is is that we made 1113 chaos orbs just by running 100 maps that's six and a half exalts okay six and a half exalts if we calculate that through the calculator let's just say it's 1113 chaos between 100 maps this means that we had an average okay an average profit per map of 11 now I'm not saying you'll be able to open up the entire monolith every time you do it but even if you open up half that will still be this divided by two maybe even a bit more five and a half chaos per map so as you can see this was not very lucky at all we got our alchemy orbs back. We had an Abyssal incubator we can sell. Regret, scouring, all these. We got three Marraketh splinters. Uh, the Marraketh splinters, if you get 100 of them, that's 130 chaos right there. Uh, it's just very nice profit. And since it's a map, that's for... There we go. Since it's a map that's so low level, it's very easy to run and you can do it right where you level up. Now, as you guys know, I am a big fan of running the burial chambers. And as we speak, I'm running a test on 100 burial chambers again. I'm, run I'm just trying to get more data to have a better average of what you can expect from running 100 burial chambers. It's a bit hard when you're level 68 to run the burial chambers efficiently. So what I do actually recommend you guys do is whenever you start grab your maps make sure to do some of these glacier maps maybe maybe if you start with three uh, you do the three you can and once you do that you sell all the items you get from it you buy five then you buy ten as soon as you're around one exalted orb you'll be able to buy loads of good stuff you'll be able to buy very nice armor uh, and you'll be able to get into the burial chambers to farm for your headhunter. I hope this was very clear for you guys. I hope you actually understand where I'm coming from. That it might be better to go for a bit easier map. That's very 
easy to run. So keep in mind, you get your resistances, you get decent damage, you get three glacier maps, you just run the monoliths. If you don't want to just run the monoliths, it's okay to um, run the entire map, but the profit per hour is better if you only run the monoliths, in my opinion. So please let me know what you think of the video. I hope it helps you guys. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I'm going to sell my Ventos Gamble. As you can see in the chat, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>